Hang in there, Snow. I'm coming to hear your side of the story. Did you just forget about the pendant? Your only memento of Sarah because you've thrown aside her love? Save the patron. I'm prepared for whatever punishment they throw at me. Snow, can you hear me? If you've locked yourself up in there because you thought it was what Sarah would want, think again. Or did you never really know her? The only thing she wanted was you! Don't you abandon her now! Don't deny her that wish! the high and mighty savior. You here to bring God's judgment on me? Not like it worked for you before, but you look different this time. Ready to listen to reason? Isn't that my line? Looking at this city, I'd begun to worry that you weren't the snow I once knew. But it looks like nothing will ever change you. 
Yeah, sorry about last time. I had to test you, though. Had to know you were the real Lightning. So I left behind Sarah's pendant and sealed myself up in here. I figured that if you were an imposter, you'd never think to use a trinket to bust through that seal. But you knew exactly what that pendant means, and what to do with it. So you really are... our Lightning. I'm glad you're real, sis. Now I can put my last worries to rest. I'm not your sister. But you understand like no one else does. I bet you figured out as soon as you saw that room. It's a prison. A nice grave for a monster like me. How can there be this much chaos? It's pretty hard to swallow, huh? Worst thing is, it just keeps on growing. It's all I can do to keep it contained so it doesn't spread. When I destroy this last infusion, that'll be the end of me. I'll be out of power. It's Seath time. But I'm the patron. It's part of the job, keeping everyone safe. <coughs> Kept it at bay all this time. You'll protect him, won't you? There's no need for me. Snow! Stay back! Let me do this! I'm tired of being useless. For 500 years, I watched the world fall into chaos. I watched it die. I couldn't stop it, don't you get that? Give me this last thing! Let me get it right just this once! Damn it, you're not trying to do the right thing. You're running away! You're looking for a way out, a death that's no different than suicide! How can you face Sarah after that? <sighs> Say what you want, Lightning. Nothing is gonna change the fact that I swore to make Sarah happy, and instead I couldn't even keep her from dying! <sighs> I know I'll never see her again. Snow, stop this! This is what I deserve! I know it, and you know it! So come on! Do your worst! I'm sorry, Lightning. I know it's selfish, but I have to ask you one last favor. Destroy me, my Seath. Destroy you? You've got to be kidding. You... you want me to be your sister, then you say something like that. You're asking too much, Snow! You're asking me to kill you? Your soul. End this now! Ever dance with swords? Don't even try. Just a fleeting dream. See the monster I become. Kill me. Witness my most powerful form. Time to mix it up. See 
see the monster I've become! I can't hold on much longer. Disappearing. Snowshare is something, isn't he? He swallowed up all that chaos and kept it at bay. He sacrificed himself to keep the city safe. And his only reward was to turn into a monster. How about you do him a favor? Do what he asked. That thing's not even him anymore. It's kinder to put it out of its misery. Yep, Snow's gone. And you know what? The only hope for his soul lies in death. So that's it. Oh, that is good. I bet he became a thief right now because he wanted you to kill him. You know nothing about Snow. <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> Come back! Snow! Who uh, knows nothing about Snow now? You said you understood his pain, didn't you? Uh, but you know what the past 500 years were like. Every day blaming himself for Sarah, trying to fix the world. He's been fighting to protect people while you snoozed away in a dream world. He really was relieved that you decided to wake up and get back to the world of the living. I bet he thought he could finally put an end to his misery. He drew on every last bit of strength and threw himself into the darkness. So why don't you just set him free already? Don't you think that's what Sarah would want? I want to... I want to save you, make you free, but uh, I just don't know how. Sarah would know. I know she would. If she was just here now, she'd find a way to reach and bring you back. much we wish she was, and I can't be what she was. Snow, the only thing I can do is do what you asked of me. But please, don't let your feelings for Sarah disappear into the chaos. She never stopped believing in you. No matter how far away your journey took you, or how long you stayed apart, she thought she would be with you again! I know she still believes it now! Her soul is dreaming of being with you again right now, you stupid fool! If you're not here anymore, then what is my sister supposed to come home to? Snow, I'm begging you. You have to live! I need you, Snow, to bring Sarah back. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you cared. so I can bring Sarah back? <laughs> oh, my good looks and charm aren't reason enough. Uh... Yeah, right. With that hair. <laughs> Damn it, Light. You always were a hard case. <sighs> it's 
spent how many centuries watching the world slip away from me? And even when I give everything I got to protect it, I don't get a single thanks. <laughs> so I finally say enough is enough. Look for a nice place to die, and you ruin that too. Sorry about that. You were forced to hold down the fort a long time. It was my fault. <laughs> you gonna make it up to me? Don't get too cocky. Listen, Snow. The world is ending. And soon, there's no way for any of us to stop it. But don't give up. You've gotta believe. Believe that even when this world ends, a new world will be born from the ashes. That's where we'll find hope again. It won't die with the world. I'll make sure of that. Trust me. I just need more time. I need you. I know, I know. To save the day. I'm on it, sis. I'm still the patron of you, Snan, right? You sure are hard with your friends, you know that? What if you killed me? We'd have trouble facing Sarah then. I knew you'd be fine. You're too stubborn to die. be all she has. Well, when you put it like that, I guess I got no choice but to do what I can. I don't know what I can really do. Sure, Lightning says bring me back. But would you even want to come with me? I'm the guy who couldn't keep a single promise. Do you still want me, Sarah? Not like you can answer me. So do I just wait? No, I'm gonna bring you home. Like a real hero. Return to the Ark at 6 every morning, without question. Remember that, Light.
putting wishes in the mouths of the dead, that's pretty low. Huh? You can't say what Sarah would want, even if she weren't dead. Yet you go making up handy lies. She would have wanted you to do this. No, she wouldn't want you to do that. That's just plain dishonest. You want me to apologize? Are you saying Sarah wouldn't have wanted me to save Snow from that... from that hell? You told me to do it in the first place. Sorry, but I'm special, you see? The rules don't apply to me. Anyway, Sarah's not even dead. And I'm not talking about any of that sweet, oh, she's so alive in everyone's heart garbage. You know? I don't need you to tell me that. I know she's not gone. I know her soul is here with us. I can feel her presence even now. Isn't that just what you want to believe? How do you know you're not just too scared to face the truth, clinging to some false idea of hope? You know, you're a lot weaker than I thought you were. Sis. Good to see you again. I still have those memories, you know, of when I first met Snow. I was with my mother. Her name was Nora. For a long time, I wanted to kill Snow. I dreamed of plunging a dagger into his heart, whispering my mother's name in his ear. I still remember our first meeting. It didn't go well. Mother was with me. There was a battle going on. She joined Snow to protect me, and then she was killed. I saw it happen, and I blamed Snow. I remember I was angry and filled with rage. I vowed to kill him. But you saved me. You showed me a way out of my anger. Looking back on it now, it's like it happened to someone else. I remember being angry, but I have no idea how that felt. Perhaps it's been too long. 